All right, Shalom. This is Brother Isaiah from the GMS Rally, GMS North Carolina camp. Back from the Lord's holy as a lesson. Before we go any further, we all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Regar Kodash, the Barnes, the Apostles, <coughs> and the Elders of the Great Millstone are teaching us the 1% truth according to the Bible and well, <coughs> and peace and blessings so afflict the nation of Israel. Right, today's lesson is going to be a uh, center upon trust, right? Um, let's jump here to the just Google dictionary. Dictionary, this is the Oxford dictionary from Oxford language. De definition from Oxford language. It says, um, trust, it says a firm belief in the reliability of someone or something, right? And that someone or something is Yah by Shema Washai, right? We understand that we can trust in the Lord because he is reliable, right? There's a firm belief in, in the reliability of Yah by Shema Washai through the countless acts which he have done with our forefathers. You know, as the scriptures tell us to look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right? So the Lord is very reliable. It says a firm belief in the truth of someone, right? The truth, you know, uh, we understand. I kind of lost my train of thought with that one. I, 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 this is the second time me doing this lesson. The first video got cut off. For what Spirit had me uh, mention, you know, in the truth the part of it, but the ability, right? We understand that Yah by Shema Washai, he has several uh, ways of getting things done. He has an army of angels at his disposal to help out, to minister aid to the believers of Yah by Shema Washai. And we know that he is all powerful. No one's going to stop his plans you know, and how he can uh, be reliable, you know, no one can stop the plans of Yah by Shema Washai when uh, he decides to uh, save, you know, and that's actually a precept, I have, I don't have the Apocrypha pulled up, oh, here it is, okay, okay, uh, I believe it goes into hinder, and when you type in save, this is, um, it says, Sirach 39 and 18, at his commandment is done whatsoever pleases him, and none can hinder when he will save. So no one can hinder Yahweh by Shema Washai when he will decide to save, when he, would, when, he, when he decides to spring into action. And, 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 and trust and believe... Yah by Shema Washai is going to save his people. He's going to save those who trust in him. You know, <coughs> this is um Psalms 20 and 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yah by Shema Washai, our God. Right, so some trust in, you know, military might, military capabilities, and that's what these heathens, you know, who are on the shores of America, really, in these last days, you know, a lot of people are going to show forth them trusting in their military efforts, right? You know, you had that song by um, Nas, I Gave You Power, and it was speaking about, you know, it was speaking about uh, the, the modern day sword, right, which is the gun, right? And some of our people, you know, are going to trust in those things. But we, as the hopeful elect of Yah by Shema Washai, we're going to remember Yah by Shema Washai. We're going to remember that name. We're going to be instant in prayer, right? Calling upon Yah by Shema Washai for anything and everything that we need, right? Whether that's protection. You know, whatever it may be, when you read here in Job 5, 
in 19 it says he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea in seven there shall no evil touch thee in famine he shall redeem thee from death right so in, in during the times of famine we're going to be saved from death you know by the supplying of food right by the supplying of a, of a meal and you can read accounts about how you know elijah the prophet you know, how the angel came and fed him, you know, after a, a long time without food. And then what? He ate again. The angel fed him again because his journey was still, you know, far away uh, where he had to travel to. <coughs> and that food sustained him for 40 days and 40 nights. You know, so the Lord could, you know, has the power to, to cause you to eat a meal where you're full for 40 days and 40 nights, you know, and, and, and that's just a small glimpse of the Heavenly Father's power. It says, and in war from the power of the sword, you see, in war is coming to us. That's the duty of the prophets to prophesy the war, evil and the pestilence. And the sword has power during the times of war, Right. In ancient times, certain militaries, you know, had the upper advantage dealing with their weaponry, right? But we will trust in Yahweh Shema Washai. We're not looking for war. This is um uh, weapons of war. This is Ecclesiastes seven and nineteen. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. So we have to trust in Yah by Shema Washai. Continue to gather wisdom for a treasure. You know, continue to gather faith in Yah by Shema Washai for a treasure. And we're going to see when this deal goes down, how much we are going to be strengthened, how strong we're going to be, you know, during those times. Okay, this is Psalms uh, 44. In verse 1, um, yeah, we'll start at 1. It says, we have heard with our ears, O Yahweh, uh, God of our fathers, have uh, it says, our fathers have told us, O Yahweh, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old. So here it is, <laughs> you know, we have heard of the glorious works, you know, and that's why the scriptures uh, constantly, you know, it reiterate, I am the God that brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You know, since, you know, going into, the, you know, the debt, <laughs> you know, the, you, you think Jake will understand the obligations that they have to uphold righteousness down here upon the earth as we are in such a huge debt to the Lord, but also to remind us as a nation that we um uh slacking that we as a nation you know it is nothing is impossible when we have Yah by Shema Shai on our side you see it says how did this drive out the heathen how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and plantest them right he he uprooted the heathens, you know, the Canaanites, and, and, and planted us in their land. How thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. It says, For they got not the land by their own possession, neither did their own arm save them, right? Neither did our own strength give us the victory. But thy right hand, right, which is Yahweh Shai, and thy arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadest favor unto them, right? And the same thing has happened in these days. The Lord is showing, you know, the remnant, favor in these days by revealing on to them the secrets by giving them comfort hope constantly protecting them being on their side right 
It says, Thou art my king, O Yahweh, command deliverance for Jacob. That's the authority that Yahweh Shema Shai has here, down here upon the earth. He can command at any time for you to be delivered out of the different situations that we're going through, right? And that's all we're constantly put into these situations so we can remember the trust in the Lord. It says, through thee will we push them down, push down our enemies, through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall sword save me. <coughs> so we're not here to trust. We're not here to gather up arms. and No, we don't have to do any of that. When you read here in 1 Samuel, and I'm going to go straight to the point, but... King David was not worried. You know, this is a uh, 1 Samuel 17 and 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with spear and with shield. I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. You see, uh, I'm going to jump. Uh, we'll we'll keep reading. I'm not trying to make this lesson too long. I want to be mindful of not making every lesson long. It says, This day would the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee, and will give the carcass of the host of the Philistine this day unto the fowls of the air, into the wild beasts of the earth. And, you know, and that's what the Lord is going to do, you know, as uh, it talks about how in Babylon, you know, it, uh, speaks about in the book of Revelations, how the Lord, you know, is, is preparing a feast for the for the fowls of the air, for, for the for for the for for Babylon, the great. Right. And all the all those that are on the shore. Right. Because they're going to be flattened when Yahweh Shai returns and. You know, when this deal really goes down, it's going to be known who the Lord's chosen are as he's going to be delivering and saving them out of uh, many situations. It says that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, right? So the Lord is, you know, doing these things to remind the heathen that there is a God in Israel that can save out of any situation, and all this assembly may know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands, right? You know, we haven't brought this out in a while. Spirit just kind of told me about this scripture right here. I believe it's Hosea 1. And yeah, Hosea 1 and 7, but I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, nor by horses, nor horsemen. Right? Meaning what? The, the nation of Israel will continue on in the spiritual warfare, understanding that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right? So all we need to do, understanding that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, that this is not a carnal war, nor will it nor will it be, you know, on the sides, you know, uh, you know, it, that's up. That's for the heavenly Father, and His heavenly host to deal with the the nations of this world. You know, of course, the men of the Lord are gonna, you know, be part of that, right? In the sense of that spiritual power. But you know, this this is not a carnal war. You know, this not this not carnally done. The Lord is not raising up. Uh, soldiers, men of war, to fight against Esau, Edom. That that's not how. It, that's not how it's gonna go down. It says, "He that dwelt Psalms ninety one and one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Right, the secret place of the Most High are these scriptures. Right, it's a secret because the mysteries of the the kingdom of heaven have not been revealed to everyone." It says, "Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That shadow is that covering." 
So we're going to abide under the covering of Yah by Shema Psalms, Psalms. It says, this is, um, let me make sure we're still going. We're, 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 we're almost done. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Right? Surely he would deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Right? So, tr surely, truly, Yahweh Shema Shah is going to deliver us from the snare, the traps of the hunters, a fowler is a hunter. Right? And from the noisome pestilence. Right? So... When the enemy shall roll in like a flood, right, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah is going to lift up a standard against this man, you know, and that's what we're putting our trust in, you know, that's why we, 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 we don't, we don't got to fret, we just got to continue to trust in the Lord with that. Next, I'm going to say Shalom.